quick deck review. Thanks, Vane. Um, this is the God Willow uh, Viego. Oh my. So how good is God Willow Seedling alongside all the Viego stuff? And how does that work? Whoa, Darkwater Scourge. Hello. Oh, it's a Zed. This is Zed Viego. What the heck? Let's send it. I just started doing daily YouTube uploads and Twitch Twitch streams after being inspired by the margin video. Yeah, I hear that. I also watched that one. Is there anything specific you did to first start building your audience? Ah, that's interesting. Anything specific? I can definitely answer that question for you. It's just going to take me a moment to think of a proper answer that you might need. Bear with me as I do this mulligan and think in the back of my head. I'm gonna, do I keep double champions? Oh god. I think so. Maybe I need a more aggressive opener. I don't remember doing anything specific. Here's the thing, like, I don't remember doing anything specific other than just posting videos and getting started. Like, you're not gonna really, like, jump off the ground running unless you have a really good strategy. So I never really had a very good strategy when I first started. I just got started. I can jam Green Glade here. So I, I, I've done done a couple of journeys on YouTube. I did Hearthstone for a long time. When I first started there, I was just posting pretty basic gameplay. But then when I got into Runeterra videos, I had a bit more experience and I... I think what helped was like, I found doing deck guides and stuff to be very good. I just wanted to make YouTube videos that were helpful for people. You just want to like, think of ways you can provide something of use to the person watching. These days it gets a, it gets a little bit more... The these days it does get a little bit more filtered, so you're going to be seeing a lot of the same content. I would just recommend doing what other people are doing, but better, if that makes sense. It's not really important to promote yourself. You don't need to be worried about promoting yourself. You just need to be making good videos. Sure, maybe if you make like a really good deck guide, maybe you can share it with people. But in general, man, Without a sound. when you first start, just aim to do kind of what other people are doing, but better. <laughs> I know that's not a very good answer, but it's one that I can come up for you uh, right now. Um, can I ever just jam Viego here, or is that kind of a bit too full send? I heard there's 92k cases there now, in Australia. True. Um, I could retreat, but I do walk into Nopify. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna play twin here. When y'all when y'all kicking Djokovic out, oh my god! When he's done playing his game. Wind and thunder. Walk softly, strike quickly. This way. So I guess he has twin. Will this actually reduce the cost of something in my hand? Surrender to me. Only the worthy survive. How does the open attack angle look? Uh, let's just send it. I know he has twin disciplines, but um. I'm gonna send it in. Yeah, we can sink the shadow, right? We'll go for that. And we can deny the homecoming, which is kind of nice. However, Kennen's kind of threatening.
It's looking pretty good so far. It's looking pretty good. Each other. You. Boom. Oh, uh, we should we despair now and kill Droplet? I think so, right? Even though it's dealing three, that thing's going to be a problem later. I'll still have mana for another despair plus deny next turn. Camavoran, a bunch of chump blockers. You feel like a Droplet might be more menacing though? It's true. But like at this point, he's just got too much cards. He's got way too many cards now, right? So it doesn't even matter. That's a pretty interesting open. To even think about that line means that maybe he hasn't got a much go much going on. There's always a way out. I'm just gonna pass for now, just to see if I can get him to end the turn. Well, just like let him get the Nopify off. Not much I can do about it. Surrender to me. Wait, I can actually hang on. I can play Dark Water Scourge and flip. Right? Right? Is that worth? We are representing lethal. I can actually retreat this back into my hand, can't I? <laughs> That's kind of cute. We are also representing lethal. Is it worth going for the deny? Try and outplay, go for lethal. I think we just got to go for lethal, right? If he has homecoming, it's fine. If he has another concussive palm, at least I force out more resources. And he might not have it. He has his own deny. That's fair enough. Yeah, I'm going to yoink that from my opponent. <laughs> So what do I do against Ari? Oh, that helps. Wait, that's chill. I'll play my own sign in. <laughs> I actually nabbed this. That was a straight up thievery. Am I gonna take the tasty? Nice. I like tasty here. Lots of healing. 
I think we wanted to develop, right? What's the punishment? Uh, I guess King Cow Wayfinder. This board is just looking pretty staunch. Just send it? Your attack is obvious. I'll take care of this. So if he goes for homecoming, uh, I think we want to try and shoot that off, to be honest. We lose our 6-6, six, six, but that's fine. <sighs> Looks like this game's not over yet. I should be a little bit nervous. He's going to start to find some premium answers, I'm sure. Oh, that's a dead cannon, though, at least. Wait, Deathmark? Polk? Yeah, nope. One shot consumed by many others. Feels familiar. I'll see all this world has to offer. Two steps into moonlight. GG. Uh, we can always wait and see what happens. Wait, that deck was a slapper. For Thanks for sharing.